Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and in this video we are going to learn about broadcast receiver which is one of the android component. So let me elaborate you with a simple example where we can use broadcast receiver. Now suppose your battery is getting low. Ultimately you got a notification it will says that your battery is getting low. Now under the hood our android framework will have a certain event and it will through or you can say broadcast a message based on the event and what is the job of our broadcast receiver it will simply subscribe or you can say interested only the certain amount of event and if our framework will generate message for that event it will listen and perform a certain piece of task okay so this is a use of broadcast receiver well in a case of battery low our android framework will generate a message for a particular event and that event is going to be listened by our broadcast receiver and based on that it will trigger a notification which we will see in our notification bar so this is a simple example of broadcast receiver so now uh, there are two types of broadcast receiver first one is static broadcast receiver and the second one is dynamic broadcast receiver so we are going to cover these two broadcast receiver within this video so let's get started with a static broadcast receiver so first we need to create a class so right click new cotton class less five and i am calling this my broad this is a simple class and this class is extended by broadcast receiver this broadcast receiver has one function in it which is called on receive and this will provide us a context and the intent which which is uh, sent by our framework so first i am changing this name context and second is intent all right now first we are going to learn about static broadcast receiver how it will be created so first you need to create this class extend this class with broadcast receiver and then after register this class in our manifest jump into your android manifest and within this application tag you need to add receiver and here you can see my broad is already coming second is exported so for this moment of time let it be false and within this receiver we actually introduce intent filter which will filter uh, a specific event for us so within this intent filter we have certain action so action has a name and that name is actually defined the intent which uh, which is interested by your broadcast receiver so in my case i am going to use uh, boot completed all right now if you using boot completed there are few requirements which you have to put in your manifest so the first is permission receive boot completed and within this receiver tag uh, we have direct boot aware and make this thing true in order to receive the boot completed event from our android framework all right now jump into your broadcast receiver and here i am going to create a when statement and using our intent action if our intent action is intent action boot completed then we are going to show a toast message simple toast message so the first parameter is context second is our message which is boot completed and the third one is toast dot length long and lastly we are going to show this toast message all right so and also this type of broadcast receiver is called implicit broadcast receiver because we did not specify the component what we specify is only action over here so this is why it is called implicit broadcast receiver now i am going to run this application right so our application will run successfully and here you can see there is uh, no toast message so so now i am going to restart my device in order to tackle this action boot completed event so here you can see boot completed my uh, toast will be pop up so this is a simple static broadcast receiver and one more thing if you want to perform any kind of uh, task which will take a 
huge amount of time so you can simply do it by using intent service or job intent service because our on receive method will be run on the main thread and you can't perform a long running operation on the main thread so that is, that is why you can use any kind of service for that uh, use case right, so now we are going to tackle dynamic broadcast receiver so for that i'm using the same broadcast receiver and remove this receiver tag from our manifest or you can say commented out jump into our main activity and here i am going to create a reference of our broadcast receiver so my broad which is a uh, my broad and i am going to register this broadcast receiver in our on start so basically we have to register and deregister our broadcast receiver if you if you are using dynamic broadcast receiver so on stop these are the places is best uh, for registering and deregistering of our broadcast receiver so first i am going to register my broadcast receiver so for that we have for that purpose we have a method called register receiver and you need to pass your receiver now second parameter is intent filter so let me create a intent filter so intent filter is simply created by using intent filter and within this you need to pass your action so i am using intent dot action time tick so it will be trigger uh, when our time is change pass this intent filter over here okay after that we need to create a intent and just like our previous approach in order to jump from one activity to another activity we can create a broadcast receiver okay and lastly we have to send the broadcast and pass our intent okay so we successfully register and send a broadcast now lastly we have to deregister this broadcast receiver so that we can prevent memory leak so for this reason i am using unregistered receiver and pass simply my broad okay now jump into your my broadcast receiver and here we need to check for our second use case which is a intent uh, action time tick and simply show a toast message so i am going to copy paste over here and say this time changed all right so now i am going to run this application and notice in our android manifest we did not register our broadcast receiver we can register this broadcast receiver through our kotlin code over here and deregister this from here so now i am going to run this thing all right so you can see time over here 350 when it will be 351 a toast message will be pop up over here okay here you can see time change pop up and your time will be changed from 350 to 351 so this is a way through which you can uh, perform a dynamic broadcast receiver in your application so why it is called explicit broadcast receiver because we specify explicitly our broadcast receiver that we have to tackle this broadcast receiver in order to observe this event so this is why it is called explicit broadcast receiver so that's it for this video we learn how uh, what is broadcast receiver and how many type of broadcast receiver and how to implement the broadcast receiver in our application so thank you for watching this video